In terms of post production or video effects, camera tracking is the process of recreating the camera path taken by the actual real life camera. Let's say you take out your phone and record a nice 15 seconds video of your rooftop. And now you want to add a 3D card in such a way that it looks real. And importing a 3D model and putting it on the top of the footage won't look real at all. This is the original footage I recorded with my phone. As the ground in your video would be moving, so you would have to animate the model frame by frame to follow the real life camera motion. For this tutorial, I will use a free industry standard 3D software named Blender. You can download that from blender.org. Before I start the tutorial, please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any tutorial. My name is Tushar and you are watching Fintosh. Open Blender and come to this tab and change the FPS to 30 FPS because I shot on 30. If you shot on 60, you have to change it to 60. Now come to Movie Clip Editor and open the footage. You want to track. So I will choose my footage and I know the frames. So 329 frames. And now make sure that you have chosen the right frame rate and then click on normalize then tracking settings under the tracking settings change the correlation value to 0.9 and then change the motion model to affine and make sure you are on the first frame choose a contrasted area so how you can add a track just control and left click to add a track point Go to track tab and from there you can adjust the track precisely and press alt s to add a search box make it bigger from this arrow you can increase the size and then hit ctrl t to track forward let's see how far it goes so it stopped at 312 frame so all you have to do just increase the search box so come to the previous frame just click on that and increase the search box and then hit ctrl t to track again as you can see it made it to the end so we will see if anything weird happened while tracking so I think the tracking is pretty good so we will lock it we will lock the track so that mistakenly we don't change anything so just press ctrl L to lock the track yeah now we basically need eight active tracks to solve the camera in blender so we will add another track and come to the first frame and then hit ctrl t to track forward so it stopped again so all you have to do come to the previous frame and then increase the size of the search box and again ctrl t to track forward that's all you have to do again it stopped so come to the previous frame and as you can see it's too blurry that's why it lost the tracking data so we will delete that one because we do we want proper tracking data so we will choose another position, another nice contrasted area to track. So choose a nice spot. So I think this area will be okay. So place it where you want to track and then adjust it from here and come to the previous frame. If you are not then hit control plus T and you can see again it stopped at 216 so come to the previous frame and increase the size that's all you have to do and i hope this will make it to the end yes so it made it to the end so we have two active tracks that are properly tracked you can see over here so 
so i think these tracks are pretty good so we will lock it so select the track and press ctrl plus l to lock the track so that you don't accidentally move anything of the track okay so choose another track point and come to the first frame and increase the search box if you want to let's see if this area is good for tracking or if not then we will choose another tracking area so the student made it to the end so we will delete that one we don't need this type of track so delete the track point and choose another nice position which last longer in the frame so check the footage so I think uh, around this area could be in the frame till the end I think so Let's see if this area stays in the frame f uh, to the end and we will track that area. So increase the track point and then the search box also. And then press control tree to track. And I think it will make it to the end. Yes, it made it to the end. So we have three active tracks. So this way you have to add eight active tracks you can add more if you want but minimum eight active tracks are needed to solve the camera you can add nine ten it doesn't matter the more tracks you can add the more accurate tracking data you can get out of it so we will do the same so I am speeding up the video so that you don't have to wait all you have to do add eight active tracking points and track it so all I'm doing is finding a nice spot nice contrasted area and adding a tracking point and track it to the end so remember you need eight tracking points basically eight tracking active points to solve the camera motion So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so we need another track point. And how many points do I have? I think more than 8. So as you can see, I am having more than 8 points. So the more the tracking points you can add, the better the result will be now we will solve the camera we have nine active tracks so click on solve and then check the box next to keyframe and then just click on solve camera motion so anything below one would be accepted so we have 0 0.5097 that means you have pretty good result anything you put on it and it will be well tracked so but we can decrease the value the lower the value is the more accurate result will be so we can do some refining so uncheck the keyframe and we will do some defining so come to the camera and you can if you know the sensor width you can put the value but I don't know because I shot it on the mobile phone so I want Blender to decide what were the camera settings while I was shooting this video so I will choose this option focal length optical center k1 k2 select that one and make sure you uncheck the keyframe and then solve camera motion and then you can see the value is 10.1056 that means you have pretty good track and if you put any 3d object on the surface and it will stick to the ground pretty well So now we will set up the scene 
so click on setup tracking scene and it will set up the tracking scene for you and drag the window up and choose 3d viewport from the menu from the drop down choose 3d viewport and hit 0 on your number pad and you can see that the plane and the cube is not perfectly aligned with the surface hit spacebar to play the video so if you play the video as you can see it's kind of hovering on the surface it doesn't look like it is sticking on the ground first you need to set the origin to tell the software that this is the center of the camera so select a track and then click on set origin but when you click on set origin it might be zoomed in too much so select two tracks and you have to set the scale so you might decide the scale so like set the scale first and increase or decrease the distance depending on your footage so I think I can increase the distance value a little bit or maybe decrease it so it depends on your video footage okay now we will set up the floor so select three tracks that looks like aligned to the floor and click on floor now we will tell the software what are the axis of my footage so select a track and then select set y axis or set x axis it depends on the footage you have so basically you have to give it a try for each tracking point to see which tracking point is the best to set up the axis basically all you have to do select the nearest track point of the origin now i think the plane is very much well aligned to the surface so hit spacebar and play the video and see if anything weird happens in this video so i think the plane and cube sticking on the ground pretty well I'm not satisfied with the axis of the plane sticking on the ground so maybe changing the floor will solve the problem so select another three point and set the floor it doesn't look good choose another three points and try again set the floor and this works and as you can see it works pretty well that is what I wanted to achieve through this tracking maybe you have to set the scale again because you have chosen a different three points to have the floor now choose 3d viewport to see the result as you can see the plane and the cube is sticking on the ground and blender camera is mimicking the original camera of the footage that I shot so that you have an illusion that the object is sticking on the ground you can move the cube above the plane you can obviously input 3d objects like a car a plane or anything like that press 0 on your number pad to go out of the camera view and place the space bar to play the video and you can see the camera is moving basically the blender camera is moving to mimic the original camera now come to the render view and it's in EV mode that's why it looks weird so we have to change it to cycles rendering mode now select cycles from the render engine and click on object properties icon and click on visibility and then check the box next to shadow catcher so the plane won't be visible when you render out the video but the plane will have the shadow and reflection on it now come to render properties and select film and under the tab select transparent now you can see the shadow on the floor now the lighting does not match with the footage so all you have to do is select the light and then move it where the actual sun is drag another window at the right side and hit 0 to go out of the camera view 
and keep the left side view to camera view. Now move the light to match the original sun and maybe you can increase the size to have a softer shadow. Also you can change the power value to control the brightness of the light you can make it brighter or you can make it dimmer. So after you set up the 3D lighting to match it with the original footage the next step is to set up the environment map. So click on the dot next to color and choose image texture or environment texture and then open the 360 image. This is required because if you want to have proper lighting and proper reflection on the 3D object. Now open your 360 image or HDRI image. Uh, you can shoot HDRI or 360 image with your phone just using some apps. You can download it from Google Play or somewhere else. Just you need 360 image to have the proper lighting and proper shadows of the environment on the 3D object. Or you can download HDRI from internet which looks similar to your footage. I am using panorama image. This also works but not like 360 images obviously. But so as I don't have the 360 images of that location so I will use the panorama here. So go to file and then import the object you have. There are multiple options to choose from like obj, fbx. There are multiple options. So if you know the file format of your 3D object then select it and then import it here. So what I did here I created the wall and the floor and I make them shadow catcher so that it catches a shadow and the deflection of the car and the 3D models I put into the footage. I have already shown you how to use the shadow catcher so use that method and as you can see the tracking is done very well and in the render settings select GPU compute if you have a graphics card and if you haven't set it up well so go to preferences and then system and select CUDA and then select your graphics card if you have just check the box so I have GTX 1050 Ti select GPU and under the output properties make sure your resolution matches with the original video footage and select RGBA and then select destination so you need to make a folder where you will save the PNG sequence so make a new folder and name it and then accept okay and make sure the override is unchecked and also make sure you are using denoising from the top select render and then render animation just click on that and it will render out the entire sequence and you can pause at any time and you can render it out in the next day or maybe the day you want to render that's why we have selected png sequence instead of selecting a movie file format because like if you have rendered out like 50 frames and you want to render out the rest in the morning you can't do that in a video file format you have to select image sequence in that case there you go guys i have shown you how to track your footage and import a 3d object or if you can make a 3d object that's cool you can make a 3d object and track your footage and then cool you can impress your friends please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to be notified whenever i upload a new video Thanks for watching.